Hello and welcome back to BlenderDiplom.com. I'm Gottfried Hofmann and I'm eager to show you a few updates to the icons in the Blender 2.8 toolbar. I just grabbed a new build of builder.blender.org. Link is in the description. And now let me show you what's new, what's cool and what the future may hold. Many of you were dissatisfied with the size of the icons and the text together and yeah it really takes up quite a bit of space but I can click and drag here and now you see things have changed. Now we got only the icons and a two column layout which is especially cool in edit mode where we have a lot more tools at hand and this is actually pretty good use of the space. And by the way if I click and drag again I even get a one column layout which leaves a lot of room here in the 3D view. So let me go up to my favorite again that is the two column layout and you might also notice that the icons get colored again. So the last time they were all grayed out unless they are, one would hover over them. Now they are just a little bit desaturated which is actually a good decision because you see for example here for the bevel tool the color we got here it really conveys a bit of information so I don't think it's good if they are completely des desaturated and the current um, version where, are, where they are not completely gray but only a bit desaturated is actually pretty good because um, if they were like fully saturated they would probably um, be distracting but this way we have a nice middle ground and some icons have this small um, triangle to the bottom right. Let me make this bigger again so you can see more clearly here this triangle and when I click and hold for a moment I can get a drop down that shows me alternative um, tools from the same category. For example the scale cage which is a pretty nice widget that allows me to um, constrain scaling to axis pretty easily like for example here the z-axis or here like um, the x and y axis so pretty cool but this isn't about the widgets I'll make another video on that this is about what's going on with the icons and for this I'd like to share you with you an image I grabbed of code.blender.org where the developers showed their plans for the future so this is how um, the toolbars might look in the future link is in the description you should really check it out and here we see that uh, for example in this version the icons are actually a little bit smaller than here so there will be an option to scale the icons which is really nice because I really think that's still missing because that way you could make them as small or as big as you want and yeah we already have seen the icon plus text the mini version and the two column version and what I would like to know from you is which version do you prefer? I personally personally like the two column version because that way we got a lot of tools in just very little space but I'm pretty sure some of you will also like the one where we also have the text or some of the, you will prefer the mini version that leaves the most space in the 3D view. So please let me know your thoughts in the comments below and if you like the video give it, a, give it a thumbs up so other people will also know about the great new toolbar icons in Blender 2.8.